and we are live hey. on the internet. Oh, we're on. We are on. That was it. Hey, internet. Hey, internet. Hello. I Hello. am. Uh, I'm Dylan Hecht, and uh, I'm here to stream some Mario Kart and talk about some E3 with my best stream friends, Austin Walker. Dylan. Yes. Hey, you you misspelled your name. In the oh, title. I'm such a underscore. Oh, because I was because I was trying to do John's. Man, I'm such a fucking uh -huh. moron. Nah, eh, whatever. Yeah, that's cool. People there it is. People are gonna figure it out. Whatever. Follow that other guy. He's probably nice. Like he's probably a cool guy. Yeah, you know I'll listen to him. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I fixed it. But <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm joined by my awesome stream friends, Austin Walker. Hey. Uh, Nick Sondergoth. Did I say that right? I don't sure. Know. Just Nick, Nick S. Nick S. Drevel Bones. Drevel Bones. Drevel underscore Bones. Drevel underscore Bones. And uh, my other favorite stream friend, J underscore On Carson. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're my you're my other favorite too. <laughs> Great. So we're here with some Mario Kart. Um, you have to let me know if. Uh, this is any good, basically. If the stream sounds good, because I was having some issues with it before. But uh, I'm going to hop in, and we're going to play some Mario Kart with NeoGaf, guys. Jordan, Jordan in the chat says, yo, get me in on this race. <laughs> Does are, he... we, are we friends? I don't know. you got uh, to ask yourself that question, don't, I don't you? Know. Well, I meant, like, like are you friends? <laughs> are you really going to choose Baby Pete or Baby Daisy? Absolutely. I bet... Yeah, she's oh. she's all the joys of Daisy without actually saying her name constantly. Well, cause she's she's not old enough yet. She can drive. Right. Yeah, she's old not enough to old drive. Enough but to not old. introduce herself. So this is it. I'm <laughs> here by myself for some reason. Why? Why I'm Daisy? So that's weird. Hey. That's kind of surprising. No one's here right now. He's walking around. This hey is guys, the first let, time I've seen let's wait for more players. Playing. <laughs> Everyone's paying attention to the Smash Brothers nice. thing that's going on. I yeah, think I it is. Minutes. I think that's. Is that still going on? Is that. Is that it, Dre? Did Dre just join yet? I know that dude does look a lot like Dre. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. It might be, actually. I don't know. Does he have a Wii U? I don't know. He doesn't have a Wii U, does he? Jordan has sent you a friend request, he reports. Awesome. awesome. I can. I think I can add him without the gamepad. Denied. Oh no, it's not Dre, it's Jon Snow, uh, guys. I'm pretty sure it's the real Jon Snow. Yeah. From Canada. That bastard. I better beat this guy, I'm gonna be real sad if I don't. Jon Snow is like the Canadian uh, equivalent of John Doe. It's, oh, just, okay. it's just, you know, <laughs> has all the snow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the Daisy character, or not the Daisy, well I'm a big fan of the Daisy character, but I'm also a big fan of the baby characters. You game. like her lore? <laughs> I like the lore of Daisy, I'm a big fan of Super Mario Land. And right. What about and the Super Mario Brothers movie? Yeah, she's was pretty that, good in that. True. That was Princess yeah. Daisy. Yeah. I'm, I'm also a big fan of you know Luigi having a girlfriend. You know, like good for him getting out there. Yeah. You know, I think it's real yeah. important for your social life to you know just you know start building relationships. Mm -hmm. It's good for him, you know, because not with Baby really... Daisy. Hopefully, though. Let's you know. No, no, that would Luigi. be bad. Yeah. Maybe, but like Baby Luigi. You know, I mean, I want to like. Have like an arranged marriage thing. I'm not a big fan of that in general. Are you arranging a marriage right now? Yeah, basically, yeah. I think that all the best Mario characters should get married to each other. So like one big marriage between Wild Luigi, Luigi, and uh, Baby Daisy, and Metal Mario. So how about E3, everybody? Yeah, how about hey. E3? I think we should talk some E3. All the uh, pretty much like there's no conferences left, right? Uh, I guess. No, there's just like little meetings and things like mm -hmm. tonight actually like starting right now there's a smash brothers uh round table and then tomorrow there's like some unannounced 3ds round table really have for 90 minutes huh yeah would you say unannounced oh, yeah they they announced that a while ago oh, oh, that, that they announced, announced it was like, unannounced this is like, I know it was like, like confusing no one knows it will be, basically yeah i thought it would have been something that they talked about today but mm -hmm. they didn't it would have so been like what's... Mario Maker, but that's a Wii U game. Right, right. So what's uh? Do we, how do we want to do this? Do you guys want to go through? I, my plan was to start uh, chronologically, conference-wise. Sure. So I think yeah. uh, we can well, start. Well, chronologically, 
that Metal Gear trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could start with that the day before. Uh, we, can, we cannot do that. We can, let's, yeah. Because I have other Sony, like, Sony's going to be right. a whole yeah, thing. Let's, let's wrap back around to that. So let's um, let's start with uh, Microsoft. Um, mm -hmm. They had their conference on whatever day that was, yesterday. Monday. Yesterday, um, yeah. And I guess yeah. we could actually, like, 100% chronologically start off with Call of Duty. Was, yeah. I mean, unsurprisingly, Microsoft started off with Call of Duty. I think right. they've done that for quite a while. That game looks like a game. It looks like they they're put in work. Who's who's on that team again? What team is that? That is Sledge Sledgehammer, which right. is used to be Visceral or no? I think it's people from Visceral. Some people from Visceral, because some yeah. other people from Visceral are making Battlefield Two or, or Battlefield. You also. might know them from Modern Warfare Three maps. And... Right, they did like a lot of supplementary work. Yeah. On other COD games or something? Okay. Yeah, DLCs. Um, the big DLC players. Before John Dillon says, those grenades were fresh. Yeah. Regarding the, the jetpack grenades. And Be before Call Dylan Duty. starts shitting on that game, I think that's probably the most interesting looking Call of Duty that we've gotten in like three or four years. I'll agree. Sure. No, I agree that yeah. it is the most sure. interesting looking Call yeah. of Duty we've gotten. Oh, I got a grip of friend requests. <sighs> well, all you people, friend all these people right here. They're, I'm sure they're all very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to probably join a race, and then what you want to do, I guess, if you're my friend now, just go ahead and go to um, go to your friends list like this, and like my name will be on here, and I'll have a little flag next to it. Mm -hmm. And I think I can just create a room, and they can join it? I think. See yeah. how this is gonna work. Sounds right. Yeah, just uh, join up on your Mario Karts. But anyway, sorry. We'll go back to uh, uh, we'll go back to Call of Duty, and it is. I agree. What's the it's actual the most subtitle of this game. Advanced Warfare. The most okay. generic subtitle. Yeah. For a Call of Duty. I kind of figured it would be called Future Warfare, but I mean, Advanced yeah, Warfare is kind of the same. I don't know. Maybe they're yeah. saving like Future Warfare is gonna be even like, above that one. Right, like actual Star Wars laser guns type stuff, right? Like that'll be future warfare in, in a decade. Yeah. Um I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm not Well I'm like agreeing with John, it's the most interesting yeah. Call of Duty trailer that they've shown in years and years. But also I might just not be Right. Into it's it. it's I don't know. Not like there's so much fatigue around Call yes. of Duty. And yeah. like even though it may look cool, it's just you know what it's gonna be for the most part. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure it's not like, you know, trying to be a copy or anything just because of the nature of game development. It's, this thing's probably been in, in the worst few years of Titanfall, but Titanfall has already like pretty well filled my right personal uh, need for like a futuristic shoot man. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. No. Like and, I was uh, waiting, I was waiting for uh, some wall running in that, but I didn't see any. There were there were mechs, there was jump, double jumps, double jumps, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> double jumps in first person shooters are kind of a thing this year, especially after Titanfall and that. And I played a little bit of the Destiny Alpha yesterday, and right. that has double jumps. Yep. I think they're just trying to make it more mobile. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. JFab says, I don't know if you can say that there's fatigue about Call of Duty. I think we just meant among ourselves, um, yeah. and to some degree among press, but definitely among, among yeah, I think, like Dylan and Nick and I, which is like, yeah, maybe there was a time when I could have maybe been interested in, in this game. Like, three years ago, if you had shown me this game, I would have been like, man, yeah, they're yeah. changing it. Um, that Matrix gun right is direction. super cool looking. But right now, I'm like, there's other stuff competing for that time, especially this fall, that's filled with like a bunch of other games that will be big time investments that I don't know that I want to take six hours out for a Call of Duty campaign and another four hours until I burn out on the multiplayer or whatever, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, um, let's let's be clear. I have played a lot of Call of Duty. Yeah. That's <laughs> like hundreds of hours across multiple right. games. Uh, right. I'm just, I don't know. You know, well, I've, and I've, I know I'm not going to play the multiplayer. That's the other thing, is I right. know for sure I'm not going to play the multiplayer. And that alone has me like, eh. Like, if I was going to play the multiplayer, because I think that's... I mean, I guess, I don't know, though, because that's like what people thought Titanfall was going to be, was all the multiplayer crowd from Call of Duty. 
But there's a decent amount of people mm -hmm. that get that game and just like multiplayer it up. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's just yeah, like, sure that's just the great. game they get, and I'm sure it'll be cool. That Matrix gun looks super awesome, whatever that thing is. Having no arm, I right hear. Uh, the gun, oh, yeah. they like turned oh, everyone into like virtual boy sprites, as Kyle oh, posted on his Twitter. Uh, that one, that was a weird the, thing. like drone yeah. gun or whatever. Mm -hmm. I guess you get like a robot arm, which is another I'm thing. Sure. That's yeah. cool. Robot arms are, are in. I'm mm -hmm. a fan, you know. So what was after Call of Duty? Unless we have something else to say. Uh, <laughs> what was what after was Call of Duty? Today? No, I have nothing else to Those say. Those grenades. Those grenades are cool. I'll just say that. And then, no. what, what was after... Was it Sunset Overdrive? Sunset Overdrive, I think, might have been man. right after. Oh, man. That looks I'm, cool. Yeah, I'm really into that game. Yeah, I really... Like... I'll, I'm going to be the only one who okay. super isn't into this game Like when no. it comes out, I'm pretty sure. That that trailer really fell flat for me. Really? Oh, yeah, I thought yeah. it was funny. So did the eyes a little bit too on the nose. Yeah. I think it's a beautiful, colorful game, and if you told me that that was literally a Jet Set Radio game, where I was going around and, like, graffitiing things and running from cops, I'd be way into it. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not just saying anybody who is way into it. Like, I just, it just did, like John, fall flat for me. Um, I don't know that I love their sense of humor or tone, uh, and I, I'd like to see more of that stuff before I say that it's something I'd like to play for sure, but... Yeah. Was it the character, you think? That character, and then the thing is, like, it laid on top of their last video that came out a few weeks ago, or I guess a month or two ago now, uh, where there was, like, a real, you know, attitude-driven narrator. You guys don't, you guys are not going to wait until you can see more mm. of Sunset City okay. and oh. Sunset Overdrive. And, like, I have a very limited patience for that sort of, like, yeah. we're so different than everything else out there. And, like, the thing is, it is pretty different from most of the other things out there. Just but let that speak for itself, you know? It's, yeah, but also but, it's still a zombie shooter. Right, yeah. it's still yeah. like mowing down countless zombies, right? Yeah, yeah, one of the one of the main things that fell flat for me was like all the stuff that they showed yesterday. They showed a few weeks ago, right? Totally. Like there's there yeah. was nothing new that they brought to the table. Like, right. oh, what's co-op like? What are missions like? What are that's what are one. some other crazy things I can do yeah. besides show like, me the character around? around. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I would have liked to yeah. see too. Is like I could see how I mean maybe they could see that as like boring or something like that. But I thought it would have been Man. really nice to see. Yeah, I don't want to get ahead make... of ourselves, but like, I was very much not interested in Destiny until I saw the character creation. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh, maybe there is, maybe this is a thing that I could get into. And, like, that's a small little thing, but it, it again, so, and I know that Sunset Overdrive is going to have character customization. So, like, show me some of that stuff. Like you guys said, show some of the actual co-op play, and right. we'll talk. Yeah. Um, nice. I mean, Scratty put the entire press conference in the chat. Oh, rad. Thank you. So, so I guess um, we go already back. already skipped a million things. Yep. yep. <laughs> so let's uh, go uh, Let's go back. Into the chat. Let's go back to Forza, I guess. Like, sure. do, I mean, I get, should, do we care? Does Forza, like, cars? Like, I don't... I'm not anti-cars. I've played plenty of games that are fun with cars. Mm -hmm. And some of them have had the sort of format that Forza Horizon does. I don't know that I'm excited for Forza Horizon. Now, Horizon is the like more casual Forza. It's like arcadey. Yeah. Okay. I never yeah. played the first one was on 360, if I remember right. Yep. Yeah. It's like a very it's like festival driven like. Yeah. yeah. These are events that are happening in the open like, world hey, area. And like, yeah. Coachella is happening. We're gonna try right. around it. Right on. I guess that's cool. Wait, <laughs> is Outcast confirmed or deny I hope Outcast so. is oh. in Forza Horizon? Yeah, you confirm or not, you would play the hell of a game where you, you're Graham driving around as Andre 3000. Like, it's, I would want to drive around as, like, a giant Andre 3000 head with, like, wheels on it, oh. I think. Yep. So, be, so like, add that. Speaker box. Microsoft, add that. turn add 10, get yep. to work. Right. Or is this, um, no, this is by the, not turn 10, the the other ones, the people that made Project Gotham, right? I straight up have no idea. I'm almost positive this is made by the Project Gotham guys. I believe you. Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything to say. No, though. no, they don't yeah. exist anymore. Well, but it's like people from that. that the right? main people. Does Bizarre anything creations? exist anymore that used to? But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure yeah, I it's guess like so. people from that. Maybe I think, I'm wrong. I think it's still technically turn ten. Let me let me verify here. I just lose all three of my shells. That's fucked. Yeah, that was not great. 
I'm gonna be real supportive about Mario Kart. I almost said Mortal Kombat because I'm super Mortal hyped Kart. about that. Oh yeah, yeah I'm very excited yeah, to get, get to that. that. Uh, Playground okay. Games. Was no idea if you guys have played. Not whatever Forza. I don't. I mean, cars are cool, but not for me. I guess in that in the, for this in this manner. I guess. What about Mario I Kart? I play that game. It was like I play car game. I almost always play a car game. At the launch of a console, if that's I get the perfect console. time because that's when yeah. the graphics um, look yeah. best. Or if it's yeah. a path or something, you know. Mm, uh, yeah. And that's you know, and this just isn't going to be that for me. So. No. Next up is Evolve. Yes, Evolve. Right. Yes, that looks Turtle, really cool. Turtle Rock Studios is yep. making that. And that's. I don't know if we. I don't know if we need to really comment on stuff like Forza that none of us are really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring it up. We can vote to yeah. skip. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Does anybody care about Evolve? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about Evolve. Evolve looks super cool. Like, I really... I liked Left 4 Dead a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this Good looks game. to me... very. I mean, it's made by s- some people that are the same. But I yeah. like the idea of playing as the monster more than playing as any of the team members. Yeah. It's an idea that yeah. I'm... Sh- like, it's an idea that seems so video game-y that I'm shocked it hasn't happened already. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing like I, it's interesting it's an interesting thing that that's what's that's what's next is this I'm, thing. I'm glad it's happening now in a time where like you can show off that monster evolution everything can look as nice as it does and you can kind of like blend in with the scenery if you need to like all those all those little pieces mm. fit really well with that that's a good point yeah the, uh, the class it reminds me the whole concept reminds me a lot of um, like co-op board games in a oh, weird yeah. way oh, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah absolutely like an arkham horror or a, mm-hmm. yeah like yeah that whole genre of the four of us are working together to manage resources and get together enough like get into a position to where we're ready to take on this big beast and win yep. it um yeah i could totally see that that's a game that i think i could theoretically have a lot of fun with now because we have stream friends and i know i'll have people to play it with that, that, yeah stream uh, friends is the main reason i'm honestly excited about it is i think if i didn't have a group of people to play with i would not care yeah but this is definitely seems like a you need a group of people that know what they are doing and i mm-hmm. still i'm curious to see how it plays out and i don't know yeah, thinking about it is like oh yeah that will be a good stream game and that suddenly has me into it more than i was yes yeah. and it has good minutes. in it yeah, yeah. I'm curious. Be... Any, are there? Is there more than one beast, or is it just there's, a there's, one? That's the second one that they've shown. Yeah, okay. there's a couple yeah. beasts, and there's two of each type of. God, I'm getting screwed wow. here. Wow, what was that piranha yeah, plant doing to you? Eat me. See, I get. I keep getting hit in the air, and then that just like ruins you. Um, but there's two types of each class, so you could like, like, cause I was listening to a little bit of like Giant Bombcast where they were talking about it. And it sounds like, mm-hmm. like for the healers, there's like a healing beam focused, like Team Fortress 2 medic sure. type of character. And then there's like a resurrection type of dude. Right, right. You know, and then like for, you know, there, you could be like an up close fighter or, a, you know, a farther away fighter, that kind of thing. Being the, like I said, yeah. but being the monster seems like the craziest part to me. Just like that, like, it's like the ultimate, like, run and gun sort of. You just like attack real quick and then run away while they're, while people are recovering. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that will be a, a really fantastic uh, multi Twitch stream. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 That's Stream Friends cool. 2. Let's start it up. I like <laughs> it. Good idea. Um, but it's TOO. Stream, fun, stream Friends Monster is. <laughs> <laughs> stream Enemies. There we uh, go. That's perfect. Yeah, that's uh, solid. Stream Enemies. Uh, um, so, after that is AC Unity, which if you've been yeah. on Twitter in the last. Oh, oh. I came home and minutes, saw that. Fuck, man. Did I miss I something there? Well, I lose connection. Oh, there we go. I, I did too. Yeah. Oh, right. so did I. All right. Me too. Hey. hey. Uh, Ubisoft didn't want us to talk about this controversy. Did I miss <laughs> something that happened? Or? Yeah, I'll read it. I'll pull it up. This should be. I'm going to read this so that it's uh, on record for when we eventually theoretically push this to to YouTube. Sure. Are we all back? Is everything back up? Oh, let me see. Can you is the can the stream hear us? Should I type that in there? I guess. Yeah, the stream stream looks like it's. They would they would have been saying something, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna read this whole this whole. 
thing. This is from VideoGamer.com, written by Steve Bur- Stephen Burns. Ubisoft chose not to include playable female characters in Assassin's Creed Unity because it would have, quote, doubled the work. Uh, Ubisoft technical director James Therlin has wow, said VideoGamer.com. A quote, so it was funny. on our feature list until not too long ago, but it's a question of focus and production, <laughs> Therlin. Therian explained. So we wanted to make sure we had the best experience for the character. A female character means you have to redo a lot of animation, a lot of costumes. Uh, it would have doubled the work on those things. I mean, something the team really wanted. had to make a decision. It's fortunate, but it's the reality of game development. When pressed on this issue, specifically that we didn't think that this excuse would wash with the community given the amount of resources at the studio's disposal, Therian continued. Again, it's not a question of philosophy your choice in this case at all i don't really it was a question of focus and a question of production yes we have tons of resources but we're putting them into the game and we have huge teams nine studios working on the game and we need all of these people to make what we are doing here assassin's creed unity launches on xbox one playstation 4 and pc on october 28th oh my god wow that double the work huh really i mean you can't render you can't render skirts that's yeah, thanks, Dishonored. Um, so that means there's no, like, female NPCs then, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, there are. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Come this on. Is the thing, like, that second part of his statement just dug himself so much deeper. Yeah, that was a Like, yeah. let me outline yeah. exactly how many resources we have going right now. <laughs> and right. explain that. And again, like, the thing that bothers me the most here is this is another one of these, oh, this isn't a political statement moments from a game company. This is what yeah. Nintendo did a few weeks ago, or I guess a couple months ago now with Tomo. Like, this happens again and again and again, where a game company says, oh, this isn't this isn't politics, but like making a choice about where you spend your resources is literally exactly p- political, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's cool that they're going to have a million, you know, mini games in that game. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure there's going to be lots of you know emergent things that happen and lots of like seeded events. Any of that stuff, like I understand that game development is tougher than just we spend X dollars to make Y thing happen. But those are priorities that they're taking, and the fact of the matter is that they decided this wasn't a priority for them. And it drives me up the fucking wall if it's not, yeah, I don't know, four yeah. more white dudes, like, bummer. four more years. That's a real, four more white dudes. That's a real bummer. Well, don't worry, it's only going to be one year of four more white dudes, yeah. don't worry. No, it'll <laughs> be, yeah. Well, I mean, it's weird, though, because Assassin's Creed generally has, like, probably, like, their most diverse sure. franchise. Yeah, I'm- yeah, I mean, you have point. Aveline, you had Altier, you had yep. um, Connor, Connor, um, Adewale. Like yeah. they, there isn't like it's not like they've never done a person of color or a woman in these games before, and but that isn't a get out of j- a jail free card either, right? Like, it's not, but say, it's like it's almost like you get like not. I don't want to say like a, you should know better, but you should totally know better. Yeah. Like you guys should have already had this figured out that you yeah. know. This no, is, they they absolutely should know better. That's. <laughs> That's a totally fair thing to say. Yeah, this is they've done it before. Why? Why? Why just put those characters in this game? You know what I mean? Like, fuck it. Just wait till the multiplayer. Like, they show off the multiplayer and have to. Oh my god! You're totally right. Yeah, John's totally right. They're gonna have female characters doing all the sort of assassiny things in the multiplayer mode, just like they always do. Yeah. (sighs) Fuck. Anyway, that game. Until this had me. Like, yeah, it looks super I cool. I didn't love AC. Like, I liked AC4 a lot. I just burnt out on it. I, I think AC4. I like Watch Dogs more than most people, but also have tons of problems with it. Um, Oof, I hate but, Watch Dogs. That's so. F- I cannot. That game. Oh, I'm, fell I'm like. I, I, we'll have a. We can talk about that at some other future date. But I have lots of fun with that game, mm-hmm. and it drives me crazy that I do because of all the problems I have with it. Uh, but AC Unity was like, all right. Like, I've been wanting a game in this period of France from the studio for years. Yeah. They're going to do it. It's a really it's interesting perfect. time. There's stuff going on there with, like, tossing the nobles to the people. Yeah. Um, and that's a really interesting switch up to some degree, right? Like Not having a direct crowds assassination. Be just, like, yeah. 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 And like, having crowds be active and not just things you walk through. I mean, also, you're going to walk through them. You're going to walk through them and, and hide it on so. Yeah. And the co-op idea looks so cool. Like, I thought, like, again, another really cool game for streaming, you know? Like, four people in that game. Yeah, yeah. Seems hilarious. 
like hilarious things are gonna come from that. Yeah, mm -hmm. co-op Assassin's Creed, like that's not a bad idea. Yep, it super isn't. It's super cool. And we'll see. Is it? It's this year, <sighs> but I mean, who knows? Right? Is it this year? I assume it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, that's, it's that's this November. November. There's also another Assassin's Creed game that we don't know anything about for previous gen consoles. Oh, yeah, that's right. about that. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that one. I don't know. That will have a black lady in it. Well, like, maybe it's like Aveline Part Two. I don't know. I liked her game way better than I liked Assassin's Creed Three. I still need to play that game. It seemed neat. There's some cool stuff in that game that leaned into the fact that she was a black woman. Like yeah. the fact that she took on different outfits to represent like different elements of like being able to move into different spaces socially. You know, like mm. stuff like that is really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, so next is Dragon Age. Oh wait, actually, one more thing before we oh. move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry for ranting, everyone. No, 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 no. no, no. It's oh, I didn't even know about this whole thing. So I'm kind of glad I do now. It kind of I wouldn't say it changes like my decision if I'm gonna like you know buy a game or not. It's a little early to say that, but yeah, it's a little disappointing, especially considering that series history. Like I said it's gonna there. be a busy. It's gonna be a busy fall. That for me can be the thing. You know, like. Yep. Yeah. When I'm at the store, or I, like I'm thinking about what I'm going to buy in a given month, in an October or November or whatever, that could totally be the thing that pushes me one way or the other. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Nick. I was <laughs> no problem. I was actually just going to steal something from Janine, anyways. <laughs> she was saying before about specifically about uh, the game you were just talking about, uh, which uh, I can't remember the name of that right now. Liberty. Uh, Liberty. Liberation. Liberation. Yeah. Liberation. Yeah. Um, Liberation. She was saying, like, I bet there, uh, like, absolutely is, there There absolutely are uh, suits at Ubisoft that are like, no, we've, we made that game, our quote is done, mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. She was a woman of color, That's that, that's right. got us set for a couple of years, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, and the thing that I know about studios like Ubisoft, who's speaking to people at studios of that size, and with that sort of organization, uh, is that there are people in the trenches there who want good things to happen. Yeah. Um, there, totally. there is, it is a very likely possibility that the dude who said that statement before was either himself pitched, let's have women and people of color here and got shut down on it, um, or that someone else did. And it's, it's good when people speak out about that because I think it makes, I hope that it makes those people's lives a little bit easier when they approach management. Um, yeah. But like that, the real response from management could have been what Janine said, which is like, "Listen, we already covered that stuff. No, I'm not going to greenlight you the funds on that." Um, right. So. Well, the company it's like not that even, is making not even really the games. It almost wouldn't yeah. be surprising. Right. 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 No, I mean, what I'm saying, I I don't disagree that it will cut that it. He's not wrong when he says broadly that it would take resources to make that happen. It would, but it's not, and it's not a priority for them. Like I'm not. Yeah. Right. It, it wouldn't double the cost. That's that's bullshit. Yeah, um, that's ridiculous. It's not how costs work. Uh, but, and it, but it would cost something. And someone along the line said it's not worth that something to do it. Yeah. Um, someone so, said we can make another uh, with instead of making a female character, right. we can have one more random event happen. Right. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Okay, um, all right, so next, next? Is Dragon Age uh, Inquisition. Uh, I don't even know what to think about. Like, uh, man, I want, it. I want to. Like, I really want to like Dragon no. Age, but I really. Did you see Vivienne though? Did you see Vivienne? The yeah. Fucking no, I mean, I saw, I saw a lot of things yeah. I liked, but I'm too scared of Bioware now to like. I saw, I saw everything that I liked, and then I saw that UI, and I'm like, yeah. Oh. I'm ready to suffer. I like you're right. Yep, yep. but that like that's just not. At this point, I know what I'm going to a Bioware right. Dragon Age game for, and I. But I'm with you. Like I, I bet you that stuff is going to be a pain. I bet you it's going to be. It's I don't not going to be the Bioware game. game I want. If that makes sense, or it's hmm. not going to be the Dragon Age game that I want to play. Did you play? What did you guys think about the previous Dragon Age games? If you played them, I loved Origins. I loved yeah. Origins. I loved Origins expansion. And I could not stand uh, two. two, not at all. Just like, Nick, have you played these? Um, yeah, I, well, I played, I played both on PC, <laughs> which may okay. not have been the best choices. Like, I think the first one was really good on PC. Maybe if I, I was, need to, you know, what I mean, if I was playing second on a console, I'd be less annoyed. Yeah, 
Um, I played the first one on PC also, and uh, I I played probably two thirds of it and just never finished it for whatever reason. Um, but I was a you know old school Baldur's super Whoa. huge Baldur's Gate fan, so I was trying to play it like Baldur's Gate, which right. I think probably in the end was not really fair to that game. Sure. I really, ways. I really like the first one, and I like the second one more than most people. Maybe just because it was so, like, under. Uh, so many people talk, talk so much trash about it that by the time I got to it, I was just like, oh, this isn't, this isn't so bad. Like, it's repetitive, etc. Like, I do have problems with it. It's not. I don't like it. I think I don't like it as much as the first one. But I was totally fine with it um, in general. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about. Also, really, this. Mass Effect Three really bummed me out too. Like, see, and I also am an apologist, so it's it's huh. I'm a lost cause, you know. I yeah, get that. no, I mean it's okay. I'm not. It's okay to like stuff, you know. <laughs> it's I so like plenty of stuff I that I feel. Feeling. Oh, okay. That you like so, get to apologize for liking things. Now, yeah, no, I understand you know, that. Like, I mean, I like a lot of stuff that people don't. I'll just put it like that. <laughs> So yeah, I know, I, and I don't, and I don't want. I never want to issue a corrective. I never want to say like everyone else who dislike. Like I'm not the dude who is saying, you know, people who don't like Dragon Age Two are, are wrong. Like, yeah. no, they don't like it. Like they legit just didn't have fun with that game. That's cool. Like, it's, but, and I legit did, and that's also fine. Like that's how yeah. media works. Yeah, um, and it's just like for me, it's just like Dragon Age Two and Mass Effect Three turned Bioware games into like from instant buys to, like, I'm going to wait till the review sure. comes out it kind of fun. thing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's just smart. And it bumps me out. That's just, what you, that's just what happens when a game company, or when any company, anyone, produces something that doesn't meet your expectations. Like, yeah, it's fair to be to be more cautious in the future. Um, I do want to just go back really quickly. I know I'm going to, this is me, right? This is what I'm going to do. Scratty says uh, a while ago, but if AC Unity had a, had had a multicultural cast for their four assassins, wouldn't they be getting attacked anyway for the same things TV shows from the late 80s, early 90s got attacked for tokenism or whatever? Probably not at all. Like, straight up, if there had been a full black assassin among that that group of four white dudes, I would be pretty hyped. Like, I, I can only yeah. say that as, yeah. as a black dude. Um, but yeah, see, as long I as it's would. not like some ridiculous bullshit, I don't think. It would be, right, right. You know? As long as it's not like, oh well, he's like the gruff noble savage, like, and then I or he's like JJ that. from Good Times, the assassin. Right, you know exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah, is he Barrett? Is he like? Is what's he gonna do? Like how? So I, it's hard to tell. Like none of those characters look like they had any personality anyway. But yeah. I mean, we didn't exactly. see yeah. much. So I mean, we saw a mission, which is totally different. But, yo, than seeing a cutscene. at this point, you know, four white dudes with no personality versus three white dudes and a black dude with no or personality two white dudes okay. and a lady and someone else of color or something like that's right. i'm into like that's fine that's like b-boy said about the end just now we'll take what we can get which is depressing but it's also on point also yeah. the end b-boy looks like she can see she, like looks like she's a party member that's, so that's wait that's is that, the mage, is that right? the one who looks like maleficent yes absolutely okay. she looks yes, cool she looks like, she looks rad. the cutscene parts of that game look real cool i just really yeah. want the yeah. gameplay parts to be real cool too me too. And for what it's worth, I also am always a little like, eh, on parts of what Dragon Age has done in terms of racing stuff. Like, the Canary stuff has always been a little bit like, ooh, y'all are playing with fire. Like, y'all are playing with some, like, Klingon-Islam-style yeah. fire before. Like, so... Yeah. Well, then almost, the relationship like, stuff in Dragon Age yes, really was yes. gross. Like, I'm not the one to say that, but it, like... Ew. I know you're not, Dylan. <laughs> Ew, it was so weird. Yep. Uh, the thing guys, also I... about... Oh, no, go ahead. Oh, no, it's not important. It is, but it's... Go, no, go for it. it. Let's, let's, oh, I was oh. going to say Pac-Man's in Smash Brothers. Okay, good to know. Right, cool. <laughs> yep. No, that is important. It I'm is. I'm glad you said Smash that. Brothers. Hold on, real quick, I put something in the chat. I put a uh, tournament code. So if you're currently playing, uh, we'll do one more race and then add that tournament code. Just because it'll let us get more than four... It'll make an open tournament that we everyone can join so we can have more than four people in here. Wait, you have to have a code for that? Uh, well, because you can only do private tournament stuff, like, where I have to, like, yeah. add each person. Sure, sure. And then I'd rather just oh, have it, like, if you're my friend, just join me, and then we'll play in whatever matches, you know? Um, Andy, Andy Claire in the chat says that they didn't find the relationship in DA gross. The thing that, the thing that I think most people are talking about when they say that is how 
much it's literally I'm going to go buy you the gifts you need to bone you, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, and that elf girl about... in Dragon Age Two. That was my main part. I found super yeah. weird. What was what about it? Just that I don't know that whole Meryl. Meryl. I think Meryl. She's just kind of a weird character and just reacted weirdly to places. a lot of that stuff. I don't know. That's also who I, who my character ended up with in, in D2. Yeah, I, I wish I didn't, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, yep, there's some stuff. I, I've i also, you know, obviously my char that character was torn between Meryl and Isabella, mm -hmm. and there's some stuff that I'm not very cool with in the Isabella stuff that, that to me, felt like it changed her characterization in order to best, like, make the player feel really important and... Like, uh, I, I love Bioware when I feel like their characterization is consistent, um, and it often isn't in order to yeah, make the romance the stuff feel rad, is, yeah, and yeah. especially around the romance stuff, you know? Yeah, it um, goes to like a weird, almost kind of like worship thing, which is really creepy. Mm -hmm. And so um, it. Also, in, well, in Dragon Age 1, it always bummed me out that uh, it wasn't, there wasn't a specifically um, male gay right. homosexual character right. like he was just that like I don't want right? yeah like I'm I'm glad that there was a bisexual in the game yep. that's not my problem uh, like that that needs to be represented also but yep. at the same time if that being the only one in the game kind of smacks of well these are you know there's your token. It just sounds like, well, we only have so many resources. Right. There's your ME3 token, basically. <laughs> ME3, I think, did a much better job of that by having characters that were explicitly, like, you know, yeah. uh, gay. And like, there's a great moment when, if you're talking to the character who's, like, your, your, um, what is, what the is the name of the ship? Oh, uh, so, yeah, there's, there's Cortez, who's the engineer, and then and there's yeah. the lady who is your, she, re she replaces Kelly from 2. Um, oh, she's right. super uh, rad. I can't believe I forget, I forget her name. But as a dude, like, there's a point at which you can say, like, are you hitting on me? And she's like, no, super, I'm super not. And that's awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyway, I'm, I'm still pretty hyped for her. We'll see how Dragon Age turns out. Mm -hmm. but that's, when I say, like, oh, there's going to be a lot of things competing for my money this fall, that's part of, of that. Yeah. And that's what I mean, like, that's going to be a 50-hour game or something. That's going to be so. a long game. I'm curious because it seems like in all the lead up, they talked a lot about how they learned a lot from Skyrim. And this can be a thing we come back to a lot, too. The kind of like the very many open world games that sold a similar pitch throughout this throughout this game or throughout this evening. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely not the only ones that name drop Skyrim. Well, yep. we'll get to it. Or, yeah. or who? Yeah, exactly. Next is Dead Rising 3 Arcade. Yeah, like DLC looks cool. Pack. Man, oh, that was yeah. fun. That was oh, cool. I need trailer. To download that. I'm all about that. I'm that pretty excited so when fun. that comes to PC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that game. I was kind of interested in the PC version, but that game basically cemented a PC purchase for me from me when that comes uh, out. Yeah, Thomas says, "Can I ask a dumb question? If a game developer has no frame of reference for creating a gay slash lesbian character and does so anyway?" and creates a character that is just off the mark unintentionally, would that be preferable to them sticking to the usual vanilla trope? The answer is hire people. Like, yeah, yeah. that's the answer. EA has a ton of money. Ubisoft has a ton of money. Hire get someone, someone. Get someone who would know who can make it. Um, make bring someone, like, character. Yeah. 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 So, like, that's that's the actual answer there. Um, other than that, like, I, I also, I think I generally defer to people's individual experiences of of problematic representation like i've said yeah. when i was a kid it sucked that barrett was the character he was it was nice that there was a black character in the game both of those are true about my experience yeah um, so and they don't neither one of them like it's not a zero sum game like it doesn't i'm not going to do the math on that those were both experiences i had i had to struggle with that and that's the same thing i'm sure everyone else has had who's been in a position of, of minority inside of representation so that's exactly what i was just talking about with the elf guy what was right it? Zevran, right. i think Zevran. was his name yeah. yeah yeah like i enjoyed romancing that guy i'm glad i had an option to do it but at the <laughs> same time you know it would have been nice if uh <laughs> if there was someone in there that you know, represented someone with particular preferences because that's 
some people have preferences. And Scratty I says that some people don't, but you know, whatever. Scratty says do research, right? They had people doing research on like what 18th century France looked like, I guess, to figure out what the place looked like and felt like. Do yeah. that, but for cultures, like, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Anyway, also, so yeah, Dead Rising. Oh, go ahead. Dead Rising uh, looks cool. <laughs> that was my nice thing. Yeah, that that looks that looks great. Um, I'm all about giant zombie bison. Oh man, that's pretty good. Or giant God. giant zombie dictator for a. Uh, Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> yeah, and it just like uh, all kinds of Capcom references. It seemed like a lot of the, like the soundtrack is up for free right now, and it's like mostly old Capcom remixes, which is really cool. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, Mog. yeah, that yeah, that thing is for free. Mog Knight yeah. tweeted out. It's kind of lame because it's just like one long track, but screw it, <laughs> you know, it's still really cool. Um, one other thing I was gonna say about uh, like. Tokenism in video games is weird because it, it's not the same. Well, it's, I mean, because the mediums are fundamentally are not the same as, you know, TV or movies and video games. The interactivity makes, and the, the amount that most video games are, even, even video games with prescribed characters, like there's customization and it's like you are playing the role of this character. It's, it's less a mm. very specific, uh, it's, it's less an immutable thing from a TV or a movie. Right. Um, and so that, I don't want to say that completely negates any semblance of tokenism, but it does sure. complicate things yep. in different ways. So it's, it's not really a one-to-one there. That's all I have to say about So, yeah. So, anyway, the most important thing about the Dead Rising 3 arcade is Power Stone billboards in the background. Yeah. What? And you could yeah. play as, uh, what's his name with the baseball bat? It's the baseball player, too. Mm-hmm. It's like one of the costumes. Why can't you be Mega Man? I'm sure that is going to be a thing you there can was be. <laughs> pretty sure okay. there was a Mega Man. Yeah, there, there was, been. There was a Mega Man. I know there was a Mega Man also, track and a Zero. Oh, uh, was it Sigma? Also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Dan Central Fantasia. The only thing show? I have to say about this is like, man, it would have sucked to work on those games and then uh, find out the connect is being removed. Yeah. From the uh, I was reading, uh, I was listening to, like I said, I listened to a little bit of the Giant Bombcast, like pre E3 stuff. Mm-hmm. And I guess uh, Jeff was talking about it on it that he went to Judges Week. They had the first day of Judges Week um, and showed off the games. And then that very next day, uh, Microsoft announced that there was no more connect bundled in. Right, right. <laughs> so God. that sucks. It's a real bummer. But those games are super popular. Well, not about Fantasia, but uh, Dance Central. Dance Central. I like huge. I like that there's a downloadable Dance Central coming. Like mm. it's it's easy to get. That makes you sense. already have a connect. Like yeah. it's supposed it's to work with all your old game. DLC too. So if you got, I don't know if it works with the old purchased game tracks, but I know it's supposed to work with the old DLC, mm-hmm. which is nice. Okay. I don't know. That's all I have to say, really. I don't, yeah. Anybody I don't else like on, on these? Yeah, I don't like Connect games. I bet you Fantasia <laughs> is neat, but I'm not. I'm probably never going to play it. I like so. Disney a lot. I'm probably, probably still not going to play it, just because I don't <laughs> see myself... One thing I can definitely take out of this E3 is I don't. I still don't have a reason to buy a console, a PS4, or right. Xbox One. And that, that bums I me out. I think I'm getting there for... I, we'll talk. We'll talk when we're done, I think, maybe. Um, if I had a lot of money, I would totally right. be into Fantasia. But yeah, totally. totally. Yeah. Fable Legends? Looks I like love ass. Fable. I'm down. Super down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have enjoyed those Fable games to the most. Another um, four-player co-op, too. Which is but, like, what is it? I don't know what it is. No, it looks like a like a, a bad AAA tower defense game. Like a tower defense action... Whoa, like, I, tower defense? Yeah, did you not see the trailer? It's so one team. So it's a team of four players who are adventurers with Mm -hmm. British humor accents. Um, They probably bet they fart too. Yeah, they probably do that. And this, the part that I'm not, I don't understand is like, what is the game outside of what they showed us? Like, is there an overworld, or is this basically a lobby-driven action RPG? Sure. Like, is it you meet up in the town and then you go out on these quests? Anyway, so you get on these quests and you're moving through like a war, like through a, a map, 
um, and fighting enemies and stuff. But the enemies are being spawned and traps are being laid by an overviewer, like an, like another player who is watching from the top down on the map oh, and placing okay. things yeah. like a tower defense game. Sure. Like that map looks, or like that view looks so much like a tower defense game to me. But I want to know, like, if the enemies that you're placing are completely mindless or. Right. Yeah, there's a lot to know. I, there's a lot I'd like yeah. to see about that. Yeah. Um, and what the combat is like, because it didn't really look like Fable combat. I don't know that it's a bad thing, but I'm curious about, about what its real connection to Fable is. It feels a little bit like this is a thing we're working on until we finish Fable 4. Like, we have another team working on Fable 4 right now, you know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess I'm more interested in Fable 4 than I am in this, but it is Fable, so yeah, yeah, it has sure. been kind of stoked. I mean... If it's a solid, like, co-op dungeon mm -hmm. crawler, you know, cool. Yeah, that's kind of my take on it, too. Mm -hmm. You think um, it's like a $60 type of game? I wonder. Well, I who knows? Know. It's kind yeah. of Who though. knows? Who knows? Is it Project this year? They hmm. didn't say, I don't think. I feel like they said a beta was this year or something. Oh, probably like holiday or something. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Conquer's new home, Project Spark. Oh, like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a place to place put him. Like, a, a game That's for a kids sounds perfect. Yeah. That's really weird. Perfect place to put um, Conquer. I'm interested in that game. Uh, There's a beta I, for I it, it right now. Yeah. I, I'm going to wait. I'm not a beta guy very often anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm interested. I'm curious. I don't know. Maybe there's cool stuff for it. Yeah, I don't know much about it. It looks like it could be cool. It looks like Microsoft's jumping on that build, share, create, whatever that Sony's been doing a little mm -hmm. bit late. I mean, I guess they tried Project Kodu or whatever. Right? I guess, yeah, I guess the sort of thing for me was that was after Call of Duty Evolve, AC Unity, Dragon Age, Sunset Overdrive, Dead Rising, and, you know, leaving out Forza and Dance Central. And, and and then Fable, like it was the first thing that was like not explicitly about killing dudes or doing other things that were like, like I don't know. It was nice to see something at Microsoft that was in line with like Little Big Planet in terms of being about something that isn't just every other game. Um, just being creative. creative. And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just I have a space in my heart for that. It's good even to if see it. Right. Even if I don't have a space in my gaming schedule for it that often I, I want that to be a thing that's in the game and maybe that's hypocritical I don't no know. no i mean it's good no, that makes sense oh. it's it's a good family game i guess mm -hmm. i feel like a whole family could get together and create an adventure because that's what it seems to more from what i've read about the beta of it is it seems like you create like an adventure for your character right like right. there's like a narrator and he's like you know your character comes across like a witch or a troll right or whatever right. you know yeah, I, I would. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what comes out of that stuff. Okay. Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah, it looks um, pretty. Yeah. I need to. There needs to be gameplay. This is the it's one. Like, the real. That's actually the one that kind of reminded me of really Princess pretty. Mononoke. A bit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah Multiple totally. games this year reminded me of Princess Mononoke. <laughs> this is the first one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. This. This is super pretty. I. I I'm. Not really big into platformers right now in my life, but this is a really pretty game. I, I, I'll watch Phil play through this. Yeah, indie platformer you know? with yeah. unique art style is cool, but not for me. Mm -hmm. well, usually. Not so, also not so unique anymore. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems, uh, I don't know, I got sort of a, I mean, yeah, it's probably a platformer, but I got more of a slow, like, flashback out of this worldy kind of a platformer vibe from it. Mm, sure. As opposed to, you know, like a like your your Mario Brothers. Right. Your Marios. Your your Mario Bros. Your Sanix. Yeah. You got them yeah. Marios yeah. and the Sanix and the Danky Kangs. Danky Kangs, yeah. The big fan of yep. the Danky Kangs. Uh, Halo, this is comp Halo Collection and Halo 5 are next. I feel like if we had Kyle or Keith on here, we would be having... There might be a different reaction from yeah, this panel. Keith um, is so uh, hyped for this. Let yeah. me tell you, it looks real rad. I'm shocked Keith isn't busting down He was down supposed the door. to be here and oh, didn't. I was. Yeah. I figured him to like show up <laughs> around. Like he just needs to like pop his head in and be like, "Listen, guys, yep. this is why this is cool." I mean, I, mean, I like Halo Two a lot. Yeah, I really like me some Halo. That looks like a really good package. Mm -hmm. But also, they're missing the two best Halo games. In that 
And ODST and Reach is what yeah, you're saying? Though, yeah, ODST would yeah. be nice in there. I never played Reach, but I heard it was pretty good. Oh, Reach is so good. But they well, have the okay. multiplayer from two. Not so the best, that or but my favorite. Part. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean that's pretty cool. Um, um Yeah, I guess I should I should. Yeah, I mean so. and those uh are again via Giant Bomb, which is actually like the other people are picking up on this too, is it seems those are gonna be coming to PC. Uh, because Jeff was talking about when they were showing it off, when they first showed the screens, it said, use the mouse to look. And then they immediately, oh. the Xbox guys immediately picked up the controller and started pressing buttons. And oh. it changed <laughs> to use the right stick to look. So, right. and Halo 3, I think, got an entry in the Steam database. So, like, uh, last huh. year or something like that. Okay. So I would Well in that case I'm totally fine. <laughs> yeah, like sure. those games yeah. on PC would be fun to play. Yeah. Nice. Four thousand achievement points for people that are into that. That's really cool. And hot. I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in the uh, they kind of gestured towards this that there was going to be like this is the transition between four and, and five, the kind of giving a some sort of um frame for where that story is going next. I can, I can They're supposed to be putting that. story hints for 5 in the 2 remake. Right, that's what, yeah, exactly. That's kind of weird. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, whatever, they did I that for I 1 and 4 also. Oh, did they? Yeah. Okay. And the other really cool thing I thought was the how you could do like map playlists from multiple games. Yeah, 100 maps. Yeah, and you can like put them all, and you can mix them all up. Yeah. So like when you play the yeah. Halo Three maps, it plays like Halo Three. When you put the Halo Two maps, it plays like Halo Two. Okay. That that is that is pretty rad. That's yeah. That's rad. actually really interesting. It's that's, actually it's not just loose four different executables executables. Yeah. <laughs> I would actually like to see like weaponry and stuff from other games in like, let's say you have the pistol from one in three. You want, but, like, you in, want the new in the Street Fighter. Yep. Where it's the I different want it to be versions. Ultra, Ultra yeah. Halo Three. Uh -huh. that, that would be. I mean, I just want the Halo way. One physics in all of those games. <laughs> where I can make stuff like just go completely insane. <laughs> Knowing the history of those, I mean, th those have always been highly customizable games. Yeah, and, and they I are, would be surprised if they didn't let you mix it. And they're going to have that, which... Forge for Halo Two stuff, mm -hmm. which is really neat. Right. That's like the make your own. Oh yeah, yeah. Mode. So that's right. good. Yeah, that wasn't. What did that start? Three? Three. Three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up is Inside, which is a new game by the devs who made Limbo. Actually, sure can we go like Limbo. back real sure. quick? Yep. Like, yep. that Halo thing, two things. One, that's an amazing deal, really, if you think about it. Oh, yeah. Like, four games and all that mm -hmm. stuff for 60 bucks. Yeah. And number two, if the X imagine the Xbox One launches with that. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we'd be looking at a totally different game landscape right now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure. I feel like that game is super cool, but like, I'm like, every time I think about it, I'm like, imagine this game like a year earlier. You know? <laughs> I guess. I don't yeah. know. A weird thing, but I'm just like, keep thinking about it. Like, man, I wonder if Microsoft is kicking themselves over that. I'm sure. Sure. I'm sure they're kicking themselves over a lot of things. Like, it's, it's, I don't know. It's tough to do what, to, to run a game company. I'm sure it's, uh, a struggle. Yeah, I mean, maybe that was the plan. Yeah, yeah, who knows. Also, this level that we may get, I'm really hoping we get Electrodome here, is like probably mm -hmm. my favorite new Mario Kart level. Nice. It's really cool. It's like all technoed out. Anyway, what's next? Inside, that game by the, the Limbo devs. I totally uh, missed that. Sad person game? Yeah. Play, Play Dead is the name of the developer, right? Yep. That was the game mm -hmm. with the real sad looking guy, right? Yeah, the sad kid who's like running around in kind of a dystopian Orwellian space. Lots of like Science bodies scroller. falling from mm -hmm. the ceiling. You and... should check it out, Nick. It's definitely a thing I think you'd be yep. vaguely interested in. I'm, if you like I'm, Limbo, uh, you'll probably like it. Fans of the yeah. genre. Yeah, <laughs> fans, of, fans of sad, dark I think it's, platformer. I think it's really striking visually. Yep. <laughs> Lots of sharp contrasts in terms of lighting. The, the actual physical spaces look really interesting. Um, I'm curious. Like, I liked Limbo all right, but I wasn't in love with it. Like I said, the platforming just isn't where I'm at right now. Yeah. Um, but I think they could tell a little bit more. Like, because yeah. there's more depth in everything that they're doing with that. Um, they could probably tell a little bit more of an environmental story in that than they could with Limbo. Yeah. Uh, Jim Bob in the chat says that I don't know what this is in relation to, but I just wanted to mention it because 
he says, did anyone here play 140? Yeah, I love the hell out of that game. That game is great. If you guys what have, is 140? What is it? Yeah. it is a um, music, like, rhythm platformer. Huh. Uh, like a super abstract, like, uh, um, you, like you're, just almost, type game? you're just a harmonite You're just a... No, uh, even more abstract than I've that, seen but, this. But similar. Right. It's, it's, uh, like, you are a square. Huh. Uh, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. It. Patrick Fleck explained this on one of his, like, Games of the Week things. Yeah. That's, so you can check out that video if you if you want, like, a quick little overview. It's neat. It's also super cheap, I think. Like, it's just a couple of... I like that. I'm good. I'm good with cheap games. Um, Anyways, back to new games. Yeah, I only want to hurry because we, we still have so much to go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, ID at Xbox was next. There's that montage of all of those games. I, I don't care about any of those except so, for Cuphead. Yeah, Cuphead, Cuphead, Cuphead like, stole um, that. Mighty Lovers, Number 9. Lovers, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time looks really neat for me, oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, Hello. yeah. Hi, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Hyperlight Drifter is in that group. Like, there's some good stuff in there, but like, I, I don't oh, think enough yeah. was shown to look at to actually say anything. Yeah. Hell Raid could be okay from Techland, if it's good Techland instead of bad Techland. But yeah, Cuphead it, stole that. I think. Cuphead How does that count as ID at Xbox if, like, isn't Techland owned by Deep Silver? ID at this Xbox is, is just the name is, of their indie program. Right, I know. and this is indie, what's indie mean? Like, this is a lot of what I've talked about right. and tweeting about this week. Like, yeah. I, it means I, not, I, yeah. For them, what's... it means not the big, not like the big developer guys. But th they still have a weird, like even their, right, their publishing another... system still weird. Right, because like another Techland game could easily have been last year. Another Techland game was on a main stage. The real definition itself, of dying ID life, at Xbox you know? is games that are going to sell for less than sixty dollars. Right. Yes, that's one hundred percent the case. Yeah, totally. It, that's fifteen uh, twenty dollar games. Is what so basically XPLA. what it is. Yeah, except they don't and even have that anymore. Like, they don't have not XPLA. first party games that will sell for 15 to 20 bucks, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we'll see, but... Not but, Child of uh, Light. Okay, so after that was Tomb Raider 2, which people in the chat have been talking about yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. um, that I'm super I still haven't played that first for. one. I still haven't played that first oh, one. Really? I've heard so, so many different things from so many different people. I suspect that's a game I would like. Um, I think it's a fantastic I, game. I think you I think you dig that game also. Like, it's it's got some issues, <sighs> but it's, it's a... It's yeah, yeah, a yeah. I think game. I would dig it, too. I have a really hard time with those death animations, so I'd have to just know. Oh, yeah. Those. Yeah. They're rough. Um, yeah. Like, that's just like a person. Like, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not ready to make any broad claims about developer intention or, or anything like that. But it, I just don't, they don't sit well with me. Like, they do make me squirm in a way I don't enjoy. Um, yeah. But I don't know. And and the, the people in the chat have been having a really good talk about the tone of that, of that game, mm -hmm. especially in relation to to the Uncharted game, which we'll talk about probably in two hours. Yeah. Um, well, it's like, this is Lara. It's a serious this is game, I think. The kind of, right, exactly. The serious, grounded Lara Croft, who is in therapy now because of the stuff that she went through, presumably. Yeah. And th this is to talk about what Thomas mentioned before about representation. Um, like, this is another one of those minefields where they could, they could nail hey, here's a person who's gone through some shit and is now in therapy, or they right. could drop that ball real bad. Yeah. Um, Fine lines. Yeah. But I'm... man, they could nail it. Like, it, maybe they couldn't nail it. But man, if it was nailed, it would be mad. There's... Be I mean, the storytelling method in the first Tomb Raider game would lend itself mm -hmm. well to that. Right. Because a lot of that it was Laura talking about, this is, like... At the, like she starts by saying that it's already done, and she's like recounting everything that happened right, previously, right. and I feel like that same storytelling style would be just fine for this. You know, okay. is maybe like it's... weird. The that the word would be maybe the breaks in between levels if they exist. Like right. I for me the question ends up being too is like to what degree is it treating Lara as a character who's in therapy because she's a realistically rendered character who has. Who is being treated with some some degree of of uh, like seriousness and artfulness about that, and how much of it is just like, man, this is so edgy. Like our character is in therapy. That's how bad it is. And like that's well, I'm the stuff that happened in the first game was bad. pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think it came yeah. off as that either in the trailer. It, it didn't. It didn't. But I'm I'm also always just cautious. About to me, it seemed like in the trailer they were doing it like 
as a way to be like, well, what game is this? You know, type right. of thing. Yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. like hiding the intentions of it. Right, it could maybe not even be in the game itself. It could, it might, it, you know, been. and I'd be okay with it not being in the game, I'll be totally yeah, sure. honest. Like, I don't know, it's just, the, the things that happen in Tomb Raider and the way they're treated are mm -hmm. different than Uncharted. Like, at the end right. of yeah, Uncharted, absolutely. like, all the crew gets away, it's all okay, right. what right. an adventurous caper, and like, in Tomb Raider, it's like everything is fucked. Like things yeah, go that, real south in real shitty and real awful ways. That's the ending awesome. of that game is is really good, actually. Yeah, I really it's, like, it's yeah, quite I really like good. I've read, I, I read spoilers and stuff, but I still I, I'm interested to see it. Um, I'm this. That's a day one buy for me. I could say that for sure. Nice. When is that this fall? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, 2015. Is I it? think they said it was uh, like... Oh, yeah, pretty much everything yeah. near the end was 2015. Right, yeah. right. It or, might have been everything after I did Xbox. Uh, yeah, I think that that's, that might be true. Hmm. Witcher 3 is next, and it's definitely 2015. The yes. best Western Monster Hunter ever, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> like, that looked pretty cool. That looked pretty good. Witcher is a game series that I really want to get into, and I really have to get over my disdain of... of Geralt? Geralt? Gerald. Yeah. Gerald. Yeah, Gerald. Yeah, Gerald. Gerald. Me and Gerald. Yeah. Me, me and Jerry. Yeah, you can Jerry, change his uh, haircut if you, if it makes you feel better. Oh, really? That'll help. Yeah. Jerry, that's Jerry, just Jerry, that's fine. the default look. But you can you can change his hair in a couple of things, but he's mostly that guy. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Jerry Witcher with the new Witcher. Um, yeah. So I'm curious about that. I I mean, so that's the other. That's the second game in this list that does the kind of see that mountain. You can go to that mountain. Like. Yeah, I like it. I love which I is that, go to uh, with you guys. They've been saying that for like a year now, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have. They have. Is that game like a Western Monster Hunter? Like, I, that's not what the first two games were like at all. Not at all. No, and but yeah. I don't know the fact. I don't know. I'm just going by the hunt thing. I don't know how much oh. of that is like a part well, of it. And the, the demo that they showed was I'm going on a hunt for this Griffin. Yeah. Right? Okay. And I'm gonna track uh -huh. this thing. And I mean, so here's the actually. So like, but my is it co-op? No, no, I don't think so. It's not. Okay. Um, but there are other ways in which it's the monster huntery, and these aren't even new ways. That like that game has always been about preparation before you fight a thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, true. Uh, especially with some of the P like the very popular PC combat mods for the first and second games, where it's all very much like make sure your weapons are honed in the right way, make sure you take the right spells with you, make sure you drink the right potions beforehand, yep. like know what the enemy is, is good and bad at, and, and I think this one's really leaning into it with some of the bestiary stuff, and like, I think that could be really, you know, it's a thing that I want to like. Like, I see that trailer, and I see the world that they've crafted, and I think about the ways in which those sorts of stories have been replicated in games before, those sort of, like, fantasy epics, that that fail to capture a lot of mechanically capture a lot of the spirit of those stories, and I think like man, maybe this could do it. So I'm gonna try really hard to get into that series before February or whenever that game is coming out. I will say the combat looked a lot smoother, and it makes yes. me wonder if it's a lot easier. I guess. Sure, sure. I'm curious about. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be that upset, honestly. Which one and two are pretty? I won't say like just a little clunky, I guess. Yeah. Like, real precise, real clunky, real technical, mm -hmm. and maybe, I don't know if it's, I mean, CD Projekt is not the type of company that has a console no. first mentality. I will say that they have they have made some strides in terms of trying to improve those systems. Like, yeah. the dude who made the second game's combat systems was brought on because he made a super popular combat mod for the first game. And the so second one's combat was an evolution, so I'm not, you know, right, as long right. as it doesn't ruin or break the game in some mm -hmm. way, like, I'm super down with it. Looking forward to it. Pro I don't know if it'll be a day one buy, but it's definitely a buy. I really like the, I really like the first one. I didn't play a ton of the second one, but I really liked uh, the first one. I liked what I played in the second one. Anything else on Witcher? Anyone? Nick, have you played these games? I know you're an RPG guy. I really don't play them. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll leave it at that. that uh, I mean, we should talk about that later, because again, that has been my impression every... T I've bounced off of those games multiple times, and I'm... I do admit that part of this is I really want them to nail Cyberpunk 2077 whenever that <laughs> theoretically comes out one day in two or three years. Sure. Um, and so if they do well here, then that can give me some confidence. Um, but also, I mean, a lot of the things I don't like is uh, potentially, you know, never having read the books, sure. I'm not Vinnie Caravella, 
Um, I read the first book because my copy of The Witcher came with it. So, <laughs> oh, uh, like a lot of that is tied to the the books and the lore. Sure, I'm sure. sure. Uh, yeah. But anyway, um, anyway, the next news is the most important news. Yeah, three. Yeah, uh, Dylan, I agree on this. John, I, I hope you do too. It's a pretty uh, top yeah, tier man. news, I would say. Top tier. I had the symbols are on the screen, and they like something stirred in my heart. I couldn't <gasps> oh, place it. It was so funny. Like they put those symbols on the screen, there was no reaction. I was like, why aren't these people yep. cheering? Yep. And then I was like, oh like, wait, no one knows what the hell this is. I've I've never played it before, but I knew what it was. Like I couldn't think of the name at first, but I I knew exactly what it was, or I was hoping it was what it was. Wait, what You've is this? Like rumors. Phantom, oh, Dust. Phantom, Phantom Dust. Phantom Dust. Oh, okay. He's still in my heart. And that game, I'm, I'm actually, it's weird. This turned into yeah. like, I was excited and then I was less excited for it right away when I yeah. found out it's a remake and not a new game. It is a remake. The thing is, if it's a pure remake, that's not the worst thing that could happen. How no. many people played the first one and like, yeah. did not see its gloriousness? That's true. But I played the first one. Right. So I want I a new game. This. <laughs> <laughs> There's and potentially maybe a lot of room for like expansion. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Have you played that? Did you have you played Phantom Dust, Nick? I've never played it, but okay. I've seen lots of stuff about it, and I always wanted to play it. Oh man, yeah. I'm in the same boat there. Um, and really, I could stick to just playing the multiplayer in the game and be fine too. Yeah, totally. And that's the thing about the game is, I think it's part of one of the reasons I think it, it deserves a remake is you can still play the first one on a 360 backwards compatible, but you can't. The servers are obviously down for it, so there's no multiplayer anymore. Um, Which is a real so that game is for people who don't know and just saw that weird trailer and like I don't know what this is. Um, it's a CCG sort of, um, sort but of. with where where what you do is you build a deck of kind of mana and abilities, and then you run around in a 3D environment that uh, has certain spots on the map where those thing the cards basically that you put in your deck spawn. And so you might go to one and get like a, a mana card to add to your total possible mana. Or you might pick one up that's just like a really basic cheap punch that you can use with the amount of mana you have. Or you can like, oh man, like this is my good late game laser shot. I'm gonna hold on to this and just hope I get enough mana quick enough to be able to use it. Um, and the whole thing ends up playing out in, like it's one of the most anime ass fight fighting games. <laughs> it's a you know pretty, I mean? it's an anime, like I always describe it as an anime arena four person magic fighting game like magic yeah, the gathering fighting game yep. you know um, and the music is incredible lots of like remixes of classical music uh and the the atmosphere in that game is this just like really neat post-apocalyptic um it's not really like a lot of other post-apocalyptic games uh, it's in, understated in i think yes yeah it's that's the totally most true. like it's the opposite of a lot of fighting games i know a lot of fighting game people are kind of were bummed by the trailer because it wasn't hype but it's like that game. I don't want to say it's like the anti-hype, but it does. It's not. It's not about that. I guess it's about right. looking smooth, looking cool. It looks yeah. So I really want to. I'm gonna. I might end up getting a capture card or something or capture kit to to stream the first Phantom Dust because okay. it's it's a lot of fun and it's very okay. it's yeah. It's a lot. It's uh, it, there isn't much out there like it, and it scratched an itch. It's one of those games that scratched an itch I didn't think I had when it came out. Mm -hmm. um, and like Dylan, it's a Dylan game that was said, wasted on the first Xbox. To be yeah, totally and a lot. Of, yep. I mean, that's like a lot of games on that first Xbox. You know, like there are so Otogi. many good games on the first <laughs> Xbox. Did you say a Togi? Yeah, yeah, a Togi is on my list. Absolutely, um, just countless games like that that were something special, and and in a lot of cases were, despite being on the Xbox, really understated. Yeah, like did not try to do the big attitude stuff, but like we're like really confident in the worlds that they were building and in the mechanics that they are presenting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Phantom Dust is such a nice, you know, I, I hate to do a, like a meets, 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 but but it is like the, the kind of Magic the Gathering meets like DBZ meets Power Stone. You know, yeah. like there is, there is something about that that's just so good. And I think it's cool that they had one of those like random X Factor games. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, I think like, Ken Wab is a good choice nowhere, for that like, too. Hey, people have probably <laughs> wanted this. You might not know what it is, but you will soon. Yeah, that was one of the things that I think indicated the tone that they wanted to go for on a whole as a, as a, uh, not a stream, a uh, conference. conference. Yeah, conference, which is, which is like they're trying to emulate the PS4, the Sony uh, conference from last year. Of this is games focused. 
this is about deep cuts. This is about you know stuff players want, not stuff about the brand, not stuff about our partnerships, yep. etc. So I think that that kind of symbolized that for me a lot. I just want to imagine that meets 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 is Jake Rodkin's artisanal San Francisco <laughs> deli. <laughs> it is. I think it is also that. Uh, next up is the division. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they shot out glass. <laughs> That game got a graphical downgrade from last year. Yeah, I think last year was definitely an art, like a artist it was, render. It was a target. That was a, uh, it was a target, target Watch Dogs yeah. moment. Mm. Yeah, that game got super nerfed, but... I, I think I'm really bad at seeing graphics. Yeah. It's hard I'm because like, it was on a stream, okay. too. Yeah, streams right, are right. really... They, like, they really don't represent things these days. And we'll get to this later, but there is stuff that's definitely, I'm certain, a graphical upgrade. But I just don't see it. Like I just, it just, they don't. It doesn't play to my eyes, and that's a weird thing given how much I like games and how core that is to gaming experiences. But I think you Actually, like games for different reasons than. I a guess lot of people. I like pretty games a lot. I think what it comes down to is like if you show me a thing and say this is what it looks like, and then you show me a different thing and say this looks worse, or this is the same thing again but it looks worse or it looks better. I have a really hard time disassociating that first impression from generally what I think about the game. You know? Yeah. Um, anyway, sorry, what were you gonna say, Nick? Uh, I was just gonna say I'm with I'm with you on that. Like yeah. I have a, I don't really get that either. Like with, a, a lot of times when people will say, "This is a real pretty game," I'll be like, um, "Okay," or yeah. vice versa, I'll be like, "Man, this game is gorgeous," and everyone else is like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. So like for me, that I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but when we got when we do get GTA next gen and Last of Us next gen, those mm -hmm. games didn't like. I guess those look better. I guess. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. I think Keith might be. No, it's not Keith. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else is just IMing me like crazy. So. Um. Anyway, what was next? Sorry. Scalebound. Uh, I don't even scale remember bound. that. That platinum was the platinum games. joint. Oh, with the guy who beats headphones on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Beats beats headphones. I yeah. like. I like platinum beats, games. Beats, beats. I like platinum beats, games a lot. Beats. Right. So, I feel like this could be pretty cool, but I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's CG, CG, CG. On. Like I, yeah. Marcus, if I lost CG, that I just didn't. I tuned, I tuned out, sort of. And like not just CG, but not CG that told me anything about how that game would play. Right. Mm -hmm. Besides, you know like I mean? looking like a mix of Devil May Cry and. I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What was? Well, That's what's that that other platinum game? Uh, where you were in a. Like a mech suit. Oh, not a mech suit. Oh, Vanquish? Like, or Vanquish, yeah. Like, Vanquish. that suit reminded me of Vanquish. And Looks Vanquish. like a Kamiya-ass Kamiya game. Yep. Yes. Yep. He had and Nero's finally, off. they ended on Crackdown 3, which yeah. was an The idea choice. of which, super cool. Mm -hmm. Does that uh, trailer did. mostly useless? I, if you could destroy buildings like that, that'd be cool. Oh, right, right. That might be the thing. I mean, that that's kind of like the, the big takeaway from it. Yeah. But but otherwise it's it's crackdown and that could be really cool on these new consoles. Yeah, I'm super down with a crackdown. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll come with another Halo beta. It'd be cool. God. Uh, no, um, that's that's coming with Halo. Is it really? Yeah, I wish. Yeah, that Halo Five beta is coming with Halo <laughs> Collection. Yeah, on, we'll man. see. I mean, I really love Crackdown One. I'm curious if Crackdown will do anything for me again because. It did something though all those years ago that now that informed a lot of games. Since then, mm -hmm. like we don't get we don't get Infamous, we don't get Saints Row Four, we don't get Prototype without. Oh, Blue Shell! Yes, use the horn. God like. Sorry. Good work. Solid. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try. Um, <laughs> we don't get Mario Kart without Crackdown, guys. Right. Exactly. You don't get anything without Crackdown. Uh, but but my question now is like, am I still going to be hyped for this game right. if it's just doing the same stuff? Like we'll see. I want to see gameplay. Like that's like Dylan mm -hmm. said. I want to see gameplay. Yep. That's Microsoft. Wait. That is Microsoft. So I mean, I I said before I'm not convinced to get an Xbox One. There was some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Sunset Overdrive, cool. A couple other stuff. You know, Witcher, super cool. Will play on PC. Dust. Phantom Dust, super cool. I'm really interested. So the actual thing that I'm afraid about with Phantom Dust is, I, I I hope it's just a pure remake because what I don't want is a Crimson Dragon style. That game seems like a real good free to play. Sell you yeah, some cards. Oh. Yep. I could hey see it happening, and that really. Hey Keith. Hey Keith. Hey, what's, hey, what's going on? 
wrapping up on on Microsoft right now. Or wrapping up on Microsoft. Yep. Would you yeah, like to I'm add gonna... any Halo-related comments? Maybe. Man, I'm like I was talking to I was talking to Dre the other day. The only way that they're gonna get me to get an Xbox One anytime soon is if they get uh, Halo Two multiplayer unchanged, <laughs> and they straight up said Halo Two multiplayer unchanged. <laughs> I'm in because oh, no. I am sick. I'm a I'm sick gonna... boy. You are a sick boy. I'll be right back. You guys okay. can go ahead and start on with the EA stuff, which I've pasted in the chat. Thanks to Scratch. Okay. Okay. Thanks.